So what about the men and women who serve our nation? Joining us this morning is a Coast Guard veteran who was called to active duty following the September 11th attacks. Rick Deshaun, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having Served me. both here in the Great Lakes on Homeland Security issues as well. Did a tour in Kuwait and Iraq as well. Uh, you're now the Executive Director of Veterans Programs and Services for Tri-C. I guess the, the biggest question I have for you this morning is what is, is your emotions? You're a veteran here. And I want to know what your emotions were when you first heard this news. What was going through your mind? It was real mixed. Uh, a sense of elation, a sense of relief, and I think the word that captured it is a sense of validation. For any of us who served over there, uh, this was any time anytime you served, this, this was always in the back of your mind, no matter what your mission was. When, when is this going to happen? I was there in 2004 when Hussein was captured. But validation of the mission uh, is what this brings home, is that the, the service... W was worth it, the sacrifice was worth it, we, we got done what we had to get done. And as you said, we, we've waited 10 years for this day to, to come. What are, your, what are your thoughts on the men and women who have lost their lives hunting down Osama bin Laden? I think for the Gold Star families, especially 240-some from here in Ohio, uh, you'll never get over that sense of loss. Mm -hmm. I, I think that needs to be clear. But there's a sense of justice has been served. As the president ended his comments last night, it's a unifying moment for this nation, uh, you know, united we stand, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice right. for all. Yeah. Rick Deshaun, we appreciate you coming Thank in. You for You've been me. here a long time tonight, so we appreciate you being <laughs> Thank here. Thank you. Thanks Thank so you. much. All right, uh, it's time to honor another Northeast Ohio terrific teacher. This week I head to Painesville to find out why a band teacher there is earning top-notch grades from this class. We'll be right back.